Hello, hello, welcome to Empress Black Tarot. Today we're going to be doing you, Taurus. We're just going to be doing a quick general read just to see what comes out. Whatever messages come out, that's what we will take. If you are here, you have not done so already, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please take a few seconds and just hit that thumbs up for me. All right, Taurus, let's see what messages want to come out. Can I get clear and concise messages? for Taurus, please. I'm seeing threatening and stalker, guys. Threatening and stalker. I have marrying for money and threatening. I have fed up and marrying for money. So for some of you, you may be dealing with someone who is only interested in what you can do for them. They may have just gotten with you for what you could do for them. Maybe you were buying them things. Maybe you were supporting them in some way. Um, this person could be currently stalking you, could be threatening you, but we'll see what messages come out. This is just what I've seen on the pre-shuffle. All right, messages for Taurus. We have Boss Daddy. This talks about uh, like being a CEO. This For some of you, you could be owning your own business at this time. You have dirty offer. You could have people just trying to sleep with you at this time, um, sending you, you know, you know the messages, W-I-D, what you doing? <laughs> you have talking shit. You could have someone gossiping about you or you could be um, arguing with people during this time. Somebody has fake accounts, Taurus. Somebody has fake accounts. They are on social media spying. They are on social media spying. You have lonely. This could be the person's energy or your energy. Maybe you're lonely at this time. Maybe they are lonely and maybe that's why they are stalking you. Fed up, came back out, guys. We have chasing. Someone could be chasing you. You could have been in a codependent relationship. Um, you... Um, you may be the runner. You could be running from this person. We have legal issues here. Some of you may be um, having to go to court for some reason. Um, on the card, it actually says court, immigration, lawyers, etc. We have drama starter. You do have a drama starter in your energy. We have a player. Let's get one more. And Marion for money did come back out. The bottom of the deck, we have idol. For some of you, you may be an online personality. You may be a streamer. You may be some type of celebrity. You are loved. You are respected. You are admired by people um, in a fan-like way. Okay, guys, let's pull some Kipper for you. So let's see if we can tie all this together. Messages for Taurus. Taurus, I'm just getting an energy that a lot of people are uh, are checking for you. <laughs> a lot of people are trying to um, to holler at you, basically, and it's because you are a boss. Looks like you know you're doing well for yourself. But for some of you Tauruses, sometimes, you know, money and things aren't the only things that make us happy in life because the, this lonely card being here, you know, maybe you are ready for real true love. I don't know. We'll see. Taurus, can we get messages for Taurus, please? We have house. Messages for Taurus. We have despair, messages for Taurus. Unexpected income, guys. I love getting this card. This is just a side message, but some of you are gonna have some type of unexpected money coming in. This is something that you did not expect. So this is not a paycheck. This is not an income tax check this is money that you weren't expecting okay Taurus messages for Taurus you have mature man that usually represents a male over the age of 30 who may like to travel but just you know 
is a person who's really responsible at the end of the day. We have concern coming out. Messages for Taurus. Too many. Messages for Taurus, please. We have distant horizons. Thief. We have change and family room. Okay, for some of you, I see a possible move going on here uh, with the house card coming out with change. Um, I see some despair and I have poverty here along with thief. For some of you, you may have had something taken away from you. Maybe your house may have been repossessed at this time, but you do have some type of unexpected income coming in. Um, in the future. That's why this Distant Horizons card is here. And maybe that's going to allow you to be able to purchase this home. Let's see what else. But I do see a change to home. Like there's something with your change to your home, guys. Hmm. But there's some type of sadness here and concern over some type of change. This could be in relation to the move, but it could also be about something else that is changing in your energy. Let's just pull a few cards for this change card. Why is this change card here for Taurus? Have the ten of swords in reverse the lovers in reverse the star the ace of swords in reverse the knight of pentacles and the five of swords in reverse this is about some type of ending maybe you guys broke it off in a relationship or connection with someone and you may have had to move as a result of that um, I just see you guys having possibly had fights and you're not communicating well. So you are trying to basically just get out of that a situation. I do see you putting in work. Maybe you have been saving your money in order to move away from this person. But with this marrying for money card coming up, maybe this person was always draining your money and you, um, you know, maybe you had a hard time trying to get your money up in order to leave. Okay, guys, real quick before we get out of here, let's see what else is going on for you, Taurus. This is going to be a quick read. I'm going to try to limit these videos to 10 minutes, but I'm a little long-winded, so <laughs> good luck with that. All right, Taurus, let's see. Messages for Taurus, please. Clear and concise messages for Taurus. You guys have the Thinking Woman card and the Attachment card. Let's get one more message. and indecision on the bottom of the deck we have storm warning all right Taurus so be warned storm warning means that there's just something about you know the fit is getting ready to hit the shan and if you're not old enough to understand that that means the shit is getting ready to hit the fan Okay, guys, there's something going to be coming up in your energy that's going to cause some type of stir. It's probably having to deal with whoever this drama starter is, whoever may be talking shit about you, whoever may be tracking you with these fake accounts here. But you have some type of attachment or this person has some type of attachment to you. And with the thinking woman card, I feel like this is kind of stalkerish energy here. 
and you have indecision. So you guys may actually not really know what to do here in regards to this person. But I kind of got the energy that you were, there is sadness here, but I didn't see indecision. So let's just pull a few cards for this indecision. This is you trying to figure out which road to take. Maybe this is in regards to another person. We will find out really quick. But you're doing a lot of thinking about it. Why is this indecision here? The Taurus. I do have the player card coming out, guys. So you could be entertaining multiple people at this time. Why is indecision here? The Taurus. Show me what I need to see. We have the Six of Wands in reverse, the world, the Three of Pentacles in reverse, the Nine of Wands in reverse, the Four of Swords, and the Two of Swords. And here's your energy, Taurus, on the bottom. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So I'm getting an energy that you are kind of fighting with whether or not you want to attach to someone or if you should just remain single. I feel like you guys are having a good time dealing with other people at this time. You are dealing with several people with this Three of Pentacles in reverse coming out. Not for all readers, but when I see the Six of Wands, at times for me, that can mean someone who's trying to quote unquote score or, you know, talk to as many people as they um, as they like here. With this Nine of Wands, sometimes the Wands can represent, you know, the people around you. But it's an energy of um, having gone through a lot. Um, with this Four of Swords, a lot of heartbreak in the past. And I think that's what has you kind of stuck in, in making this decision. You are doing a lot of thinking with this Four of Swords and this Thinking Woman card, thinking about whether or not you should attach um, to someone or just go the road alone here. And Taurus, this is your energy. This is Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy here. On the bottom of the deck, I do have the Nine of Swords. There's depression, anxiety in regards to love, Page of Cups here. And maybe you are cut off to it. I do have the King of Swords here and the Queen of Swords and the Hermit. So this was a pair that was together. So for you guys, Taurus, this is because of your last relationship, whatever you went through, it just hurts you so bad that you're just not even sure that you even want to even move forward with anyone. Okay, Taurus, I'm, this has been your read. If you are here and you have not done so already, please hit that subscribe button for me. If you like the video and the information resonated, please give me a thumbs up. Taurus, enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will catch you on your next read.